Okay, so here we are. Here's a part that I made using Simplify 3D. It's a shelf bracket uh, for my daughter. Now, as you can see, I had to uh, completely fill it with uh, supports. So this video, I just want to show how good uh, the support option is in Simplify. Um, so let's get these supports out, just like that. And as you can see, um, it doesn't damage your print surface at all. And the supports are pretty, pretty easy to get out. All right, these are the easy ones. All right, there we go. Okay, that's it. So now we've got the uh, internal ones. So, all right, we'll start from the bottom. And just sort of comes comes out like a zigzag. Or you can just grab whichever one you want. E. Normally uh, you can just break these off with your finger, but because I can't get in there. Whoops. Okay. Now I'm using a wide angle lens. Uh, just so I can sort of get all this in shot. But um, as bad as this uh, kind of sounds, uh, it, it's not actually damaging my print whatsoever. It's barely attached. It's um, just that I'm trying to pull out a lot of supports um, connected to many many things all right so as you can see we're nearly there all right all right, all right so here's one that I haven't touched I just want to show you how easy it is if you're just trying to do one at a time so we grab it and it pulls out. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, I can't quite get that one. Now, I'll just move this stuff to the side. Now you can see here, hopefully the iPhone can get it. Here's the support. And as you can see, it's not actually connected to anything except the E. See the top of the E there? So what we'll do, we'll just give that a bit of a push. Oops, I'm touching the camera a bit. So now, we'll just gently grab that. Right, give it a twist. And that's it. And now, have a look at the gap in the E. Um, it's absolutely clean. Right, here's another example on the N. So I'll just get the flat blade. It looks like it's connected to the N, but what you do, just you pry it up a little bit, and you've actually got to be <laughs> pretty careful, otherwise it'll just fall off. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even get to show you how much effort. It just comes right off. Now have a look at that there. So now, we'll try and get this bit between the A and the N. So, it looks like it could be difficult. But, once you get a grab of it. Uh, okay. So we'll just give it a push up. You can see it's still connected. Give it a push up. Ah, <laughs> that's it. Minimal effort, and the part just falls out. All right, so same thing. Uh, I'll see if I can give it a push down. There we go. Get the screwdriver in there.
go. It is actually uh, surprisingly easy. Um, the only reason I'm sort of having trouble, I'm trying to watch the camera and uh, do this all, all in one go. <laughs> Alright, so here we can see that, uh, I'll just get that out of the way. just pop off no oh, there we go that's always a good sound it literally just pops off all right so here's a good example see just inside the end try and focus I might be able to even zoom in no okay so inside the end what we do one little push from the bottom no, we'll just line it up. I'll go the top. Alright, so that's weakened the link. Uh, the supports in Simplify 3D don't actually touch uh, your model. They're like the tiniest... Oh, there we go. That's literally just pushing straight through to the back. So it wasn't even connected. They actually sit like 0.1 of a millimetre or something away from your model. Alright, so there's a really tricky bit, uh, which I absolutely could never ever get using MakeAware. You ready? Simplify 3D. It's out. <laughs> uh, the tiny bit in the A. Alright, so here's another bit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and a bit on the... Oh, J. <laughs> it's just all falling off. Alright, and you can even see the little bit on the corner bit of the J there. Alright, so you give it a... Oh. Okay, so you would give it a push, and it just cup, comes right out. So, a little bit of cleaning up required but um, yeah. now let's have a look at the surface finish and see if I can grab the torch alright so you can see it leaves no um, marks whatsoever I don't know how it does it no marks whatsoever at all on your printed surface and I'll try bright mode yeah, so no marks at all whatsoever all right so there's a bit inside but now it's all totally see-through and we've now got a really good uh, model uh, nice and strong with no supports in between so hopefully that was a, uh, a helpful video for someone uh, who's thinking about buying Simplify 3D uh, I would recommend it seriously just for uh, the smart supports Every other bit of software wanted to put supports in these screw holes when it's absolutely not needed. Simplify 3D, you just uh, hit the delete support button and select the ones you don't want and they're gone. Simple as that. Alright, hope someone finds this useful. Cheers, bye.